Politicians in Washington are not the only ones calling for swift action at the highest level. More than a dozen political science and government professors on college campuses across Maine have put their names to a letter demanding the president be removed from office. Here's New Center Maine's Hannah Yeshivi. Disturbing images of rioters storming into the U.S. Capitol. Reason why thousands of professors are joining a national movement calling for the removal of President Trump. I think it's important to hold him accountable nonetheless. Um, again, this was an unprecedented assault on our democratic institutions. La Rochelle is one of 15 main professors who signed a letter to Congress asking for the removal of President Trump by impeachment or 25th Amendment. USM professor Ron Schmidt signed the letter as well. There's enough time for an impeachment. The House can vote on articles of impeachment by, uh, by Wednesday is one date that I've heard. Uh, as regards a, a trial of the president and the Senate, that's less likely. Enough time or the right time aside, even some aligned with the Republican Party believe actions at the U.S. Capitol last week will have a negative impact on the GOP. It's an embarrassment to Americans, especially uh, people like me who uh, respect uh, the role of government but uh, have a a conservative political approach to how we uh, govern ourselves. Harriman's political partner also troubled by what went down in D.C., but doesn't see impeachment as the best course of action right now. I'm a big rally person, a big protest person. It's part of the First Amendment. I thought the rally was great, and I think the rally was mocked by those who decided to terrorize our nation's capital. By signing this letter, an estimated 2,000 college professors agree it's about setting an example and protecting a norm. There are a number of instances already where the U.S. Uh, sort of democratic system is showing immense signs of stress. These are things that we see around the world when we see countries transition away from democracy. Professor Vakisi teaches politics in Orono and tells us the United States needs to set the standard, which is why she signed the letter calling for big change at the top. Hannah Yeshivi, News Center, Maine. And some developing news just into our newsroom now. Maine 2nd District Congress, uh, Congressional Representative Jared, Col uh, Jared Golden uh, just said that he will support impeaching President Donald Trump. He said in a statement that he has no question or doubt about the president's conduct and responsibility for last week's assault upon the U.S. Capitol and United States Congress.